All right, Shalom. Brother Kabai back on our GMS lesson, GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and rule well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, back with another lesson through the Spirit and power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, the title of this lesson is Who Wrote the Bible? You know, because a lot of people, especially the ones of our people, Hebrew Israelites, so called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, are so quick to say that the Bible was written by the so called white man. Okay, that's the white man's book. Okay, you know, so we're gonna go ahead and cut all that right about now. And Lord willing, um, you know, uh, the body will be edified. So without further ado, the first precept I wanna grab. I want to go to um, I'm going to go to the book of Peter Second Peter Salakia uh, Yep This is Second Peter chapter 1 verse 20 It says Knowing this first So look you got to know this first alright That no prophecy Which means to tell you something before it happens of the scripture is of any private interpretation okay so okay look you, you have to be a man of the lord first and foremost okay to better break down these scriptures that uh um yahweh bashim yashai gave man okay second peters 1 and 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation you can't be like oh what well, it means this it means that no okay the man of the Lord not even doing that, man. We're coming through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, breaking down the scriptures to you, okay? And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is what the world even calls God in Jesus Christ. Verse 21. The prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Okay? So this just wasn't any, any, any uh, 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 average Joe. Okay, this was just any average Israelite, okay, writing down the scriptures. <coughs> These were holy men, okay, which means separate, okay? These wasn't no average Joes that was writing down the scriptures, man, okay? They were uh, um, they were moved by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, as the scripture says. Second Peter 1 and 21, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. So, yeah, this wasn't no... Uh, no average Joe writing down these scriptures, man. Okay? But holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit is what moved these holy men. Okay? So when you got knuckleheads out there uh, 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 talking about, um, you know, uh, man wrote that book. Yeah, man did write this book. But it was holy men. Okay? Separate. That was moved by the Spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, um, I'm gonna grab another precept and go to um, cause that that's Jake all day, man. These blockhead, these rockhead, so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, so quick to spew some nonsense out of their mouth, man. Oh, oh, a man wrote that book. Man wrote that book. Look, man wrote all books, but see the difference between uh the Bible. And all these other books out here See The the, the Bible was moved um, um, By holy men As the scripture said man Okay it wasn't no, no average Joe Okay This is Psalm 68 and 11 The Lord gave the word See This is the words of the Lord man The most high Yahweh Who the word only calls God man Alright It says Psalm 68 and 11 The Lord gave the word Great was the company of those that published it, man. So these were great men that published the Bible, man. Okay? They wrote down these scriptures, all right? And they were Israelites, man. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? This is our book, man. Okay? We were inspired. Okay? We were moved by the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Look, look I'm going to read it again. This is Psalm 68 and 11. The Lord gave the word. The white man. The white man. 
No, the Lord gave the word. Psalm 16 and 11. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it, man. Okay. These were these these, these were great men. All right, I'm gonna grab another precept. Let me see here. Let me see here. No, that's not it. Oh, slack here. Let me see here. Okay, I got it. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16. It reads, All scripture is given by the inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, and righteousness. Okay? So, the scriptures, man, they were given by the inspiration of the Most High, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh who the word calls God and Jesus Christ again. That's their names in the ancient Hebrew, man. The Lashawan Kodash. Alright? Yahweh he is, Yahweh Shah, he's the liver or savior. Okay, look, of his people, Hebrew Israelites. Okay? I'm going to read it again. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Look, all scripture, not some, okay, not a few, not a little bit. Look, all scripture is given by the inspiration of the Most High. And it's profitable for doctrine, okay? For reproof, that's right, and for correction. To correct our people, man. To reprove them, to correct them. Showing where they're going on. Because look, the, the, the book of the Quran is not going to show our people where they're going off, man. The book of the dead is not going to show our people where they're going off, man. Okay? The book of Egypt tells you all that nonsense is not going to show our people where they're going off at, man. But the King James Bible 1611 will. Okay? And it was written by holy men. It wasn't written by our oppressors, man. You crazy? This is our book. This is our history book as Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Once again, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction. Okay? For instruction, man. And righteousness. So the, the the Bible was written, man, for us, man. You know, it was written by holy men. Okay. So called uh uh Negro Latinos Native Americans, man. So I'm gonna uh grab one more scripture before I close. <sighs> Slack yeah. I'm gonna go to uh give me one second. Give me one second. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to end it off on this right here. Because, look. Man is quick to say that, you know, especially uh, you black heads, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, are quick to say that the, the Bible was written by man, by the white man. But the scripture says otherwise. The Lord says otherwise, man. So who we ought to believe? Those black hair, uh, uh, rock hair meatballs, okay? Or we gonna believe the Lord? This is Acts five and twenty nine. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, "We ought to obey the Most High rather than men." That's right. So the Most High say, "Look, I had men write this Bible, holy men, separate men, men that was moved by my spirit, okay? Who wrote the Bible?" So who are we gonna listen to? Are we gonna listen to uh 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 blackhead Jerome, okay, on the on the on the corner, or are we gonna listen to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Okay? Are we gonna listen to uh 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 Crazy Rico? Okay. That's the white man book, my man. 
White man wrote that book. Oh, we're going to believe the Lord. Here it is again. It's Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey the most high rather than men. So there it is, man. You know, you want to know who wrote the Bible? There it is, man. Holy and separate men that was moved by Yahweh by Shimei Shai. So before I go any further, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. All right? Shalom.